What's up guys, it's the anime player and welcome back to some more of The Walking Dead, A New Frontier, Season 3. Episode 4 just came out, I didn't think it would be out so soon. Uh, but yeah, we're almost wrapping up with the season. It's called Thinker Than Water. When community is threatened from within, Javier manages, uh, manages unlikely alliances from the safety of his loved ones. Alright, let's do this shit. Last time there's a shootout, I think. Previously on The Walking Dead. It's Clementine. No! You monsters! I don't think Dave was that bad of a guy no, now. Work. You know that? Now that we know his backstory. Oh, this word gets good. You, you, you shook my goddamn guts out. <laughs> Boom, Negan style. Joe was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. We don't need your help. I'm begging you. Maybe I should have killed him. You could have had on, some good info. To... Wait a second. Used this against. David told us used him against here. Jolene. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. I knew I could count on you, brother. They were our family, David. How could you? <laughs> Big fight geeks. Piece of shit! I'll give you family! This, this is exactly how last season episode 4 ended. But I don't know if we'll win this battle. This... I don't know if we'll win right here. No, this season kind of seems different from the previous seasons. Um, what's going on? Uh, I think this is a flashback. So, okay, let's make it on. Is David and Javier? Damn it! Strike one. I'm out of practice. That's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. Oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been. Wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be Anything so for a fan. awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Looks like we're famous. I knew Javier, like, Who do I make was this up something to? with, oh, like. No, no, no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! <laughs> you gotta keep those fans happy, big star. I didn't think Javier was like that famous. I mean, he was like in the newspaper of something he did. Crush it. Well, it's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. 
Can we go go see a blood in you, David? You should be able to do it. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Crush it. Oh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Oh, come on. Don't be a wuss. <laughs> I used to tell you the same thing. No. Yeah. Back when we were younger. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Crush it again. Oh, my God. The crowd is going wild. I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. <laughs> Maybe we pissed David. him off. David, what's wrong? Come back. I came here to reconnect. Instead, you just want to show me up. What's going on? David, I don't understand. Is he going to punch us? You don't us? understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You tried to help me. Yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So... Whatever you do now, you gotta put Family them comes first. first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. <sighs> My mom and dad will worry themselves sick. You didn't see how stressed they got last time you deployed. Life's hard for everybody, Javi. Except you. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. Thank you. I really mean it. My guess. Gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah. We good. Come on. Let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Bet. We're back in the present. Get in there, you two. Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Lonnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them- And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Shut Operation up. is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Piece of shit. I knew we couldn't trust these guys. Ugh. This is bad. What are we going to do? I killed Lonnie. Christ. How could he turn on me like that? David, hey! I thought I had it handled. 
All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. In this together. I'm right here with you, man. We're getting out of this. Together. Thanks. I keep doing this. Making the same stupid mistakes. Remember when you wanted to run away and re-enlist? Yeah. You talked me out of it. And you fought oh, we did? to keep your family. You can do it again. Now. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They gotta survive. No matter what. You don't have safe. to worry. They're safe for now. We have to get them out of town. Both of us. You're right. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. We got we can this. Make this. Together. <laughs> so glad to see you boys getting along. Armed desk. Shut up. You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. Shut I came bitch. here to talk, not fight. You're not going to be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. And people had concerns about me coming here after the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. You're the we problem. Know the real danger here is you. I'm not sure what kind of person you imagine me to be, but it's not true. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. The real danger was another long winter. I should have been told about this. David, you remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. Your scheme is going to blow up in your face. You just wait. I really <laughs> hope not. I'm responsible for the lives of everyone in this community. Could be how responsible. Set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. No, you are. We'll debate Joan. all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. I know. All right. Let's see how to get out of here. We didn't have that much chance to like walk around this season. Hmm. Or last episode, I don't think. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. Reminds me of season one, all those, like, when we had to, like, look around for, like, equipment and stuff. Do those boards come loose? Oh, my bad. Uh, what was the door? I don't think it worked. If I just kick it open. <sighs> Locked. I'm not getting out through here. No one's out there. It's our way through up here. Could squeeze through there. Anything to help me? Ugh, nothing useful here. Let's try one more time. There's a way to get on top of those lockers. What's 
this? Alright, what's through here? Oh shit. Like this place isn't that heavily. It's like this place isn't that sturdy. Gabe? Oh shit. I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. I can't do it. Can you help? Sure. Nice work, Gabe. Now, yeah, nice hands. work. You're stepping up. Faces in the crowd. What's up with all these gang signs? What's all that noise? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. This way. Come on. The same thing can happen like Can't what happened in Carver's camp. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. She sent me to find you. While they hide out. Is Kate doing okay? Yeah, sh she's fine. And Eleanor's watching her just in case. We should probably keep moving. <laughs> I can't believe you found me. I looked everywhere. Oh, nice work. Thank you. Nice work, Kate. Okay. Gonna be okay, right? I mean, these are his people. He's negotiating with them now. He'll work it out. Let's just see what happens, okay? Yeah. Let's just see what happens. Hope for the best. Come on. Kate keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. We can't leave Dad here. Not after we found him again. I'll talk to her. I'll try to convince her. Good. It's important. Yeah, it is. Hold up. That was close. What's hap happened here? Everything's gone wrong here, hasn't it? We should be safe in this town. You shouldn't be a prisoner. It's bad. This place is going to hell. We're gonna need to it find is. somewhere to lay low and hope for the best. With Dad. Don't forget about Dad. That's Eleanor's place. We made it. Great. Let's get in there. This is not gonna go smoothly. Shit. <gasps> oh, that was close. Yeah. This wasn't so busy before. What are they up to? Watch bird watching? <laughs> Probably just scouting. Come on. Let's get inside. I think they're looking for us. Looking for the rest of our team. Rest of the squad.
Welcome to the new world. New front, the walking dead, a new frontier. Looks like the tower from Savannah. I can see someone. Hope. It says. What are we gonna do about the herd, though? Once we take care of Joan. Okay, I thought for a second I thought it was someone hanged, hanged up. I was really like, that's fucked up. Thicker in the water. Her, I forgot her name. Elva. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey. <laughs> Trip, pull the move. Joan threw me and David in jail. If you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We've got to save my brother. He's still in their custody. And I'm scared what they might do to him. Told you we couldn't trust him. You were right. I'm sorry about what's going on with David. But we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. There's too much unfinished business here. Javi. Sorry. We can't leave yet. Not yet. Have you guys Pay been back. out the window? Go look for yourself. What's happening? Oh. What? Holy, Holy shit! shit. Hobby, it's a bunch of walkers. Even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. This is the gut. The walker got tricked then. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. I didn't make that happen. It's not my fault. We had the opportunity. We should have gone. Are you crazy? I'd rather take my chances out there than in here. Then you're an idiot. Look at you. You wouldn't have lasted eight seconds past those walls. I know, right? It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. If we're really going to make it out of here, we have to be ready to shoot our way out, right? Yeah, right. Good. <laughs> you two have fun with that. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here yeah. as soon as we can. Good luck. 
Don't worry, we're still saving David. He's my he's my brother, so I can't just leave him. He's blood related. You can't just leave that. Even if they think he's a bad person, Look, Javi, he's your brother. He can't be that bad to you. I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come yeah. on. Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. Give it time. What's going on here? Everybody's feeling overwhelmed. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh huh. Right. Okay. Good luck out there. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Thanks. Bobby, come on. Yes, yeah, so I was saying, I don't think Gabe's that bad of a guy. He's Javi's brother, so I think he will be loyal to his own brother. Hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't turn on us or anything. But if he does, I'm leaving him. I don't give a fuck. No one betrays me. What's that mean? Like, stay cool, buddy. Can we just kill these these guys? Like sneak sneak attack. Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool. I've done this before, Hobby. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. Life and death. Please give me the chance to kill someone here. Yeah, Please. I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? They vouch for her. Trusts her. And we trust him, right? Yeah. Then we should be okay. I hope. Yeah, all we could do is hope. For now. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone other than you and Kate. Blue Jeeps. Through their actions, they can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. You can trust someone that means up, a lot to you. Sure is a like if you've been with them for a long time, like best friends. Slowly open the door, someone might be inside. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. That's it for this video, this is the anime player. Stay Gucci guys.